Cyberbullying um, is really kids being mean to each other online or using other technologies. Some of the forms include direct uh, harassment, uh, bullying where they're sending hurtful messages either um, with messaging on MySpace or email or text messages via cell phones. Other times it's more indirect. The technology distances us from a perception of understanding what the consequences of our actions are. And that can interfere with the feelings of empathy um, for just learning what's okay or not. Now, uh, unlike the traditional schoolyard bully, cyberbullying can take place 24 hours a day, seven days a week, through instant messaging and text messaging, chat rooms, social networking sites. Uh, the child, you can't get away from it. People have stolen my passwords, gotten on, changed the passwords, changed my pictures, saying things like, oh, I'm ugly, I'm fat, um, like saying that about myself, and then like going up to, like going on my boyfriend's page saying I want to break up with him, and like going on my friends like saying I hate you and you're the worst person ever. Like, they think they're so big when they're like 20 miles away from you, but then like next day at school you're like, yeah, I saw what you said on MySpace. I think I'm gonna have to beat you up now or whatever. <laughs> I didn't get into like physical fights. I got into verbal fights. It just starts so much drama and I always say take your drama to your mama. People do use their cell phones to be mean by saying mean stuff such as I hate you, you get on my nerves, stuff like that. When I see that, I tell my parents or tell anyone, tell that person, stop doing it, it hurt my feelings. Well, my son and another boy had gone into the bathroom, but at the time there was another little boy in the bathroom and he was sitting on the commode and um, the other boy that had entered with my son reached over the stall and had taken a picture of the boy sitting on the commode and he had put it on the internet. You know, my son was put out of school for that. If cyberbullying is happen, happening, it's very important that the parents uh, save the uh, you know, cyber paper tra trail. Uh, whether it be an email or an instant message they may have logged, or a copy of the social networking site, or anything of that nature. If the behavior escalates and they do, do need to go to a, the school, the service provider, or even law enforcement, that type of material is going to be necessary. The key to addressing cyberbullying will be getting to the parents of the bystander kids, those kids who are not actively involved with this, but they are witnessing it. Those competent kids, caring parents, can be encouraged to say, stop, that's not okay. This isn't, this isn't the way you treat people. Three things that a, a, a young person can do are to calmly Tell the person to stop. Simply block the communications from that person. Now that's going to not help if it's a profile, but it would help with the um, harassing. Or send a complaint to the website. If the cyberbullying is worse, or those steps don't help, then they need to talk to an adult. One very effective thing um, that parents can do is simply download the material, send it to the parent of the bully, assuming they're able to figure out who that is. The bully's responsible and the parents are responsible, and in fact, um, parents can be held legally liable for the harmful actions of their um, minor child.